Today I'll be covering how to handle multiple species and split them up when you've put multiple species in one observation in the iNaturalist app. In this example, I'm going to intentionally take pictures of three different species. This should be in three different observations, but I'm putting them all into one observation. This is an error. This will be incorrect. I've put in a picture of a Kalinkoe plant. I'm adding incorrectly, this is wrong, but I'm adding an Osimum tenui florum plant. And I'm adding a Centella asiatica plant. Notice too that this is in a planter. This plant was planted. I should also be marking each of these observations as captive or cultivated, but notice I didn't do that. So I now have three species in one observation. That's wrong. I'll split those up later. But I'm going to pretend that I'm making this error. The artificial uh, computer vision, the computer model, will identify only the uh, species in the first image. You can see some here. I'll go ahead and take that first choice of Kalinkoe. It is in the, uh, it's either in the Kalinkoe's or the Bryophyllums. Um, sort that out later, perhaps. But it did not look at the other two pictures, and I now have a misidentification of those other two pictures. So I'll go ahead and have it save this observation. It will now go through the process of uploading those observations. It's now uploaded all three of those. That's a malformed observation. It's wrong. It's incorrect. Let me show you how to correct it. Open up the observation and click on the pencil at the top right. The uh, observation has three different species in one observation. No good. Wrong. So I will uh, go in and click on the pencil, then click on the picture I want to delete, and there's a garbage can at the bottom right. Watch that again. I click on the centella picture, garbage can bottom right, click, it's gone. Now I have one species in one uh, with one picture. You could have more than one picture of that one plant, of that Kalinkoe plant. That's all right, as long as it's the same plant. But each observation should have only one plant in it, one specific species, one particular plant of that species. So well, now that that's cleaned up, uh, I can now go ahead and save this observation by clicking on the green check at the bottom center. And that will then save this observation. I can, if I need to, add notes. I also need to mark them as cultivated or captive because that's also been planted. Now, what about the other two plants I took a picture of? Well, at the bottom right, I can click on the green plus. Choose image on the right side. I'm choosing an image. I'm not going to take it. I've already took the picture. There's my pictures. So I'm going to click just on that Osimum Tenui Florum, top center, the Kadring or Auring plant locally. Species search, it's Osimum Tenui Florum. Also captive or cultivated. Notice I checked the green box on the lower right. I planted these plants originally and they're now growing from seed, but they're cultivated. I'm taking care of them. I want them there. They're a medicine plant. Again, choose image on the right side. A new observation. This one, the Centella Asiatica. CV, the computer vision, will almost always get this one. Move that out of the way and I get that. Again, captive, cultivated. I need to check that on the right side, that box, because it is captive and cultivated. And then I press the uh, uh, check, green check at the bottom. It will upload that. So again, one species per observation. One plant, one species, one observation. Three plants, three observations. That allows us to individually identify each one correctly. And so if you do make that mistake of putting multiple species in one observation, you can split them.